What are you able to tell on the first day in uppers? Well, it was good. It was physical. I mean, it was probably, you know, the most physical first day we've had, certainly since I've been here. And, um, you know, one of the more physical practices I can remember just first day. You know, there's always a little bit of feeling out, but, but I was impressed with, um, you know, the way the guys competed, particularly early in practice. You know, we do a, a screen drill with the wide receivers and the defensive backs, and I thought that was a really spirited, uh, physical day, much more so than we've had in the past. You know, the good thing about this group is, um, you know, they, they, they want to be physical. Uh, we don't have to drag them to, you know, force them to be physical. They, they want to do it. It's part of who they are. It's part of, uh, they understand that's kind of what we're about as a program. And, and so I think they take pride in it. Um, and so it's a, it's a dramatic improvement over what we've had. Still not exactly where we need to be, but it was, it was better. Uh, so hopefully we'll build on it tomorrow and, and, you know, have a good physical work day as well. And as we start, you know, progressing toward full pads and I'm, you know, excited about seeing some, some live situations and what kind of happens at that point. How many plays did you guys go? Uh, I think 32 plays in team. So it's, that'll be about our norm. We'll probably do another 32 on, um, on Thursday, I think it's tomorrow, today's Wednesday, and on yeah. Thursday, yeah, these days all kind of go together. Um, on Thursday, and then you know probably 40 to 45 range on on uh, Friday and Saturday. What uh, can you what say about with, Westerfield? Uh, sprained ankle. I mean, I don't have a report. I mean, he'll get an X-ray and an MRI. I don't. I expect he'll be fine. I think he just rolled up, rolled his ankle. Oh, nothing serious. I don't think so. But it, again, I, I certainly can't make that diagnosis right now. How about the Trey Turner? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Just just was held out. Yeah, yeah. We're just trying to rest some guys that, you know, to, to make sure that they're good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong, Trey. I mean, is that is that a unit where you get nervous resting guys, considering how? No, not at is? all. Not at all. No. Uh, I mean, the good thing is we've got we've got guys that are going to develop and, and get in there. I mean, that's you know we've got options now for the first time. Um, you know, there's some young guys, but the good thing is they're talented and you know we think they can play. Um, so some of that's by design where we rest some guys, some older guys at times to to get some of the younger guys the reps and in, in, in the work and see how they how they respond. Uh, uh, the defense, I don't think I gave one first down until those uh, those big and weary and Watson. Yeah, runs. that was good. It's, yeah, the good thing is, like I said, our guys are competing hard. Um, you know, uh, we tried to throw a couple of long balls and, and guys made some plays on them. Um, you know, a couple of good plays by some corners and and uh, misfires, a couple of misfires on the quarterback and then a drop really by Chad. So. You know, they're, they're, the defense is challenging the offense and, and making some plays and making some competitive plays. So it's, a, it's, a, it's good to see. What have you thought out of the quarterbacks uh, now three days in? Well, I think they're all improved. I mean, I, I can say that for sure. I mean, and certainly Chase is, is much further along than he was in the spring. Ross is, is much further along. Um, so those, those two guys, I'm very encouraged by the you know, progress that they're making. And, um, you know, I think with Davis, you know, he's, he understands what we're doing and, and has a good feel for it. And so, you know, he's a new guy to our program, but, but in some ways probably has a little bit more experience, you know, doing some of the things that we're doing. And the way that we communicate uh, is something that he's been doing for three years. So I think in some ways, um, you know, just his, his experience in the communication and running the football team, um, you know, helps him. Um, you know, and I think at some point we'd like to make it, you know, make a decision in the near future just to see uh, so we can start getting the kinks worked out and start building the offense around the quarterback. And, you know, so we'll we'll sit down, keep looking at the film. And and when we think there's a decision ready to be made, then we'll make it. At this moment, do you think Davis is starting to maybe separate himself? A uh, bit? We'll see. You know, we'll go and look at the film today, have conversations and and, uh, you know, see where that takes us. Uh, what what have your, been your thoughts of Kaufman taking over the linebackers, how that transition has gone? Well, I think it's been good. I mean, I think that the good thing is, um, you know, it doesn't really matter who coaches them. I mean, Art's voice is the voice that gets heard, and he was, you know, we're working with the linebackers a lot. Um, I think it's good sometimes when you're a coordinator and you're a position coach. I mean, certainly linebackers are the quarterback of the defense in a lot of ways, quarterbacks and safeties, certainly, and there's a lot of communication that has to take place. Uh, and so it's good that there's, you know, there's it's direct chain of communication. You know, it doesn't have to be interpreted and and um, and go through anybody else. So, so that part of it's good. Art's been doing it a long time. He's really comfortable with these guys. I think he likes the the work ethic and um, you know the the understanding that the linebackers have of what we're trying to do defensively. Certainly further along than it has been. So, um, you know, I think we're way ahead in a lot of regards. As someone who also oversees a position group, have you talked to him about? 
to, about that at all. I know he's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's done it. He's done it many years. I mean, you know, he uh, he's comfortable doing it. So he didn't he didn't need any of my expertise. <laughs> I probably should. First day in pads is going to be Friday. Yeah, first day in full pads will be Friday. How did that conversation kind of come about to, to put him in charge of the linebackers? Was it just because he'd done it most of his career? Yeah, yeah, it's something that we talked about in terms of just balancing the staff out. You know, um, uh, you know, I think that Jacob sometimes has to cover for me and take the whole, you know, the whole receiving core at times and, and do some things. So we felt like that it made more sense for us to split the quarterbacks and the running backs. You know, Tony really liked having, having both groups. Um, you know, Jake was more comfortable just taking on the quarterbacks. And so we felt like that it made a lot of sense to move Garrett over there. That's what he's done before. He's done it in this offense before he did it for me at Arizona. I think he's, uh, you know, he's a, he was a running back in college. Um, it's a position he played. It's a position he's coached a lot. I mean, he's, he's been one of those guys that's kind of bounced around. He's coached on offense, coached on defense, been a special teams coordinator, done a lot of different things. And so when we sat down and started looking at our coaching staff, it made more sense to, to move him to running backs. It was something that... Uh, I think our running backs have benefited by it, and I think it's had a, uh, a good benefit for our, for our uh, linebackers as well. Do you have a sense that you guys are going to be able to run and control the ball a little bit more this year, given how much That's the early. It's early to see. You know, I like the I like the group. I mean, the running backs are pretty good. Trey Watson's not very good, but... <laughs> <laughs> but the other guys are pretty good. Uh, you know, the, the O-line is... Uh, I mean, we're just bigger and stronger, and I mean, you guys see it. I mean, it's not hard to see. Um, you know, they're just they're experienced. They're they have a, a better mindset than we've had in the past. Um, you know, there's a, a different work ethic, a different level of toughness. Um, now, you know, we don't. It's just better. It's just better. And so, when you have experience in your offensive line, uh, and you have experience at running back, then certainly it behooves you to be able to run the football. And uh, it's something that we want to do. I mean, for us to, to be able to, to be the kind of football team we want to be, you know, we got to be able to line up, knock people off the ball, and run the ball when everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it. And really, that's, that's what good offensive football teams do and good football teams do. Is, you know, when you got a lead at the end of a ball game, you line up, you knock people off the ball, and you make first downs, you run the clock out. And so, you know, that we hope that we're progressing and coming, becoming that kind of team. Um, we'll see. You know, we're. First day in pads, we got a lot of work to do, but you know uh, we're in a good spot right now. Brandon said he had, he had uh, thought of having uh, Stuky at center, but Nooms looks like he's got a pretty good hold on it. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I mean, the same thing. We got great competition there. I mean, there's going to be you know three or four guys that'll be involved in that competition before it's all said and done. And we're gonna. The good thing is we have enough uh, depth to be able to mix and match, and we can bounce a lot of guys around. You know, Brandon does a nice job at double training guys. Uh, he believes same thing I do is you know you better train a bunch of centers. There's nothing, I mean, this offense, you know, cannot operate without centers. And so, you know, there's going to be some point this season where we're going to have two or three centers hurt. And, you know, we're going to look up and our fourth string center is going to be in the game. And he better be as good as, as good a snapper for sure as your first string guy. So, you know, it's something that we prepare for every day and plan for. And, uh, and as a result, you know, it gives us a lot of depth at that position. Are you guys still waiting to hear back on David Davis? Or? Yeah, still waiting. Yeah, yeah, still waiting. As soon as we hear something, we'll let you guys know. Uh, how do you feel about the development of a lot of your younger defensive linemen? You know, good. I mean, I like that group. I mean, the, you know, you look at those guys, it's a very athletic group. You know, you look at the guys last year, um, you know, they've made a big, a big jump since the spring. Uh, the freshman class is an interesting class. I mean, there's some guys that are, can do different things. I'm really excited about, you know, the frames on those guys. I mean, they're, they're long, they're athletic. You know, you look at Evan Weaver and you love his motor and his speed off the edge. I mean, it's going to give us a, something that, that, you know, we need around here, which is, is a guy that can rush a passer a little bit like Cameron Saffold did for us last year. Is a, is a true freshman. We think Evan might have a chance to play if he continues to progress. Uh, and then Chinadu is a really interesting guy. I mean, just a long, um, you know, athletic guy that, uh, you know, has a tremendous upside. You know, I mean, you look at his – he. His wingspan was 84 and a half inches. You know, I'm saying he's got some crazy long arms, and um, you know that help comes in handy when you're defensive end. You're trying to reach and, and sack a quarterback, and so he's a, he's an interesting guy, and and I think has a has a bright future. We'll see uh, how he develops and how quickly he does, but we certainly like his frame and and uh, you know what the future holds for him.